We're going to go ahead and upgrade uh, IBM ThinkPad T60 today. This is a mid-range IBM. You can see uh, it's just a generic run-of-the-mill business machine. Most of these IBMs of this size are upgraded in a similar way, which means all we need is a small Phillips head screwdriver and whatever new memory we're going to use. An important step before upgrading any laptop is to make sure that the power is off. This one, we can see no lights here. We've shut this down all the way. And just to be safe, we're going to turn this one over, make sure it's not plugged into the wall, and we're going to also take the battery out of it. I recommend doing this for any laptop when you're going to upgrade because anytime the power is on, you could significantly damage the internal components. So make sure the power shut off, the system shut down, and if you want to, you can even take the battery out to make sure it's safe. First thing we want to do is turn it over and locate the screw holes that release the keyboard. On this laptop, they're here, 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 and here. So we'll go ahead and start. by loosening these screws. These screws, when they come loose, do not pop all the way out of the little sockets. So the best thing to do is to leave them in there until they get to the point where you can tell that they're not being uh, loosened anymore. And once they're uh, all loose, we just turn the laptop over and shake the screws out on a clean surface, somewhere where we won't lose them. Slowly, I'll take it like this, and you'll start to see we get five screws out of here. Now all this, these points are all loosened, so turn it back over and open the shell. On this specific laptop, the memory is located under the touchpad here. This one, for example, we can pop off these sides. You can usually use a flathead screwdriver or your fingernails. Just pop off the sides, tilt it forward like this, and it just comes unlatched. As we get in here, this is the area under the touchpad. Our memory is located right here. There's a little tab right here that we pull up, and one here. But all you have to do is pull one of them upwards. If I pull this tab up, the whole thing tilts, and then it pulls out straight. As you can see there's three little tabs here, here, here. These are located in these sockets. Our existing memory is in the bottom slot. And if you've never installed or uninstalled a sodium memory, uh, memory stick before, it's actually fairly easy. There's two tabs on the sides, just like a regular DIMM would be. And when we pull them sideways, the memory pops up a little bit. So I'll push on the sides and pull outwards. And as I do so, the memory popped up just like that. Now all I have to do is just pull it straight out. Our new memory, we're going to go ahead and install. It installs very similarly. Because the old one push, pulled out straight up, we push this one in straight down and then press down. So you put it in an angle, press down. Put it in an angle. Press tight and then press down. And it locks right in. This one will follow the same thing. Put it in an angle, press tight, press down and locks right in. Now we've got the new memory installed. Want to reattach this keyboard uh, touchpad cover, press over through those little three sockets here, here, and here, then down. And then evenly press, press uh, gently around the outsides. This keyboard reattaches by placing these parts back on the joints here. There's some areas in the front here that need to be pressed down again to snap, and you can easily feel these when you're pressing it in. So I'm going to press down here, here, and here, just to make sure it's on there tight. Start at the corners, and then pinch your way inwards. Once we've got that on, all we have to do then is hit the power button, and our new laptop will have its memory back in it. We'll go ahead and close it turn it over and on this laptop all five of these screws are the same size 
but you want to make sure that on your laptop, if the screws are a specific length, that you match the holes that they came from to the holes that you put them back in. So I'm putting these five screws back in. And just retightening them. You don't want to over tighten and you don't want to strip the screw because if you get one of these little screws, uh, little screws stripped, it's nearly impossible to get it out of here. So be very, very careful, very gentle with how much force you use to do this. It doesn't need to be in there like uh, you're putting a tire on, it just needs to be in there tight enough the screw won't fall out and it holds a piece of plastic keyboard down. Once that's all done, you can feel all the screws are tightened. Turn it back over. And now your laptop's upgraded.